Thanks, rabbits, but because I'll totally forget what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> so I went to my first grown-up Pampered Chef party totally by accident last July. Um, not this year, but last year. And my next door neighbor had invited me. I had completely forgotten about it. And when I was asleep that day in the recliner, it was like 6 o'clock, and I was in my pajamas. I was asleep. I worked all night the night before. And she called me because they were making chocolate cake and she didn't have any oil. She's like, oh, you got to come over. So I go across the yard. I'm going to make the full picture in my pajama pants with my fuzzy socks to the Pampered Chef party, right? So I go over, and she's got wine, and she's got chocolate cake. And I decided that whatever she's got going on is much better than what I had planned, so I thought I would stay. So giving you a little bit of picture of my life at that point in time, I worked 80 hours a week every week. I was in management in my field. Um, I've been there for 12 years. I had never hosted any kind of direct sales party. I could not cook a lick. And here I am at this pampered chef party. I'm going to buy a food chopper for 20 bucks. That was my plan. But by the end of the night, I had to have a magic pot because I could cook chicken without burning it in 30 minutes. And I thought, I can do that. So I didn't have a bar pan because I decided, well, if I could cook biscuits and they wouldn't be black on the bottom, I'd probably be, able, probably be okay, too. This could save my marriage. So, bad. so I started looking through the catalog. I looked at the new consultant kit kind of secretly. You don't want anybody to know you're thinking about it, right? So you're looking at the back page of the catalog. And I had to have everything in the kit. And I thought, this is like 70% off. My math brain wheels were going. And you know, when I get the Coles coupon and I scratch it off and it says 30%, like that's exciting, right? So this is 70% off. So I started asking a lot of questions. And I wanted to know, how do I get this? I didn't want to be dishonest. So what do I have to do? Like, how do I earn it? How do I get to keep this stuff? And most importantly, when can I quit? That was the most important question. <laughs> So she answered all my questions, and you know, five, ten minutes later, I still couldn't find the cash, and I decided to give it a try. So whenever I talk about this at my shows now, I tell this part of my story, the, my favorite thing to say is that with Pampered Chef, we do not want you to marry us. This is not a lifetime commitment. We just want you to date us for a couple of months. And if you decide to dump us, you keep everything you got in the relationship along the way, right? <laughs> all of your freebies. And that was totally my plan. But I went to my first show, and we made some chicken pasta, and the end the girls were drinking wine, and I looked at my computer, and we're laughing and having fun, and I made 100 bucks, and I thought, hmm, I would have made this much in my part-time job tonight, and this is not nearly the stress of my classroom, this is so much more fun. And I was pretty much hooked at that point in time. But the thing that meant most to me, and what I figured out pretty quickly, was that I could make my own schedule. And that was pretty huge for me. My husband and I both worked 24-hour shifts, and we worked opposite days. So the entire 12 years that we had been together, dating, engagement, being married, we had been two or three nights a week that we would see each other. We did Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, anniversary. One of us at one job, the other one at the other job. Maybe every couple of years we managed to get to some family's house. And that was our life. Um, we had never talked about having a family, having kids, because let's face it, you can't put your kids in the backyard and have the neighbor come over. And <laughs> <laughs> so we had never even thought about it, had to talk about it, other than the fact that it was impossible. So I started to really love the flexibility of the schedule. And a couple of months into it, I decided that I wanted this to be my career, my full-time business. It was a big, huge change for me. But the first time that I mentioned it to my director, and I shared that goal, and I talked with our director team, Almost immediately, I had support, and I had people who'd been in the business for 14 years, 9 years, 6 years, who literally had me by the hand, teaching me the nuts and bolts of the business. And it really is a business. There are things to learn. So it was so important to me to have that support. And the other thing that they focused me on really quickly was doing those two shows a week, having that consistency and building that strong business, because that really is all that you need to make that happen. Um, Within a couple of months, I figured out I was loving every minute of it, and with only like a month and a half after I decided that this was more than just fun, I had added my first group of team members, and I had a $500 cash bonus in my check. And I had been seven years in my career job because of the economy with not even a merit raise. So seven years doing the same job every single day, and within three months with the Pampered Chef, I had increased my earning income by 10% and got a bonus. And that was huge. I had, never, um, I had never imagined doing anything different. I had never really let myself dream. I had never thought, what, what if, right? What if you had the money to do this? What if you had the money to do that? What 
if we could go and do be something different because tomorrow looked a lot like today and the day after that looked a lot like today too, right? I had 15 more years left of today and a very similar income for that amount of time. So for me to be able to dream about the possibilities was huge. For me to set goals was huge. I had always just done the right things and hope something good would happen, right? Do all the right things and hope something happens to you. And that was something I had never done before. So for the first time in my life, I, well, I'm not going to tell you how old, to set goals and then watch those goals be achieved was huge for me personally. That's not even about a business. That's so personal and individual to see that success. Um, some other really cool things happened over the summer as well. Um, two weeks, let's see, 11 months to the day after beginning my Pamper Check business, I walked into my full-time career job of 12 years and gave notice. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. 